Say hey everybody. Who thought being a grandmother would be like so rewarding? Oh gosh, I'm not gonna cry. Cheese dips to me is not my favorite. What? Guess what I found out? What? I found out that you can get. Why are you chasing me? I'm, I'm gonna pay for it with my own money. Are you paying with, for yours with your own money? Since you. Good morning everybody and a welcome back to a very early vlog. It's like seven o'clock in the morning and normally I'm not out of the house this early because we're getting up starting school. But school's gonna be put on pause just for a little later this morning. And if you hear that noise, I have Aspen in the back. <laughs> Her little sound machine's going. We're up bright and early this morning because we are taking Charlie to the vet. I told her I'd go with her this morning um, because where they're moving, they have to make sure he's up to date on all his shots. And there was like one shot he was not up to date on. So we need to get that taken care of. Okay, so we're in the car and we are getting ready to go to the vet and we're like 15 minutes away, so not too much longer. I like how he like leans against my leg <laughs> to like put pressure on it so he doesn't like feel like he's moving much. <laughs> but he rides really good. He does ride him. really good, but we're almost here. So Kayla and Charlie have gone into the vet. I think Aspen is trying to go to the potty. Um, they're not very busy today at the vet. The one we brought him to, you have to just do walk-in. They don't do appointments, which is fine, you know, as long as you get here early enough, because I know normally throughout the day, this place gets very busy. Let's see, are you still awake? Oh, are you trying to go back to sleep? Say hey, everybody. Say hey. That sun is so bright. Let's see that this way. Yeah, Charlie's gonna get his nails clipped too while they're there. Because we've had a hard time getting in with our groomer. We're planning on making him an appointment. I'm gonna make um, Charlotte an appointment as well. They both need to go. It's way overdue. Charlotte needs a haircut so, so bad, you guys. Hopefully Charlie does good with his vaccine. I hope so anyway. We had one bad experience uh, when Charlie went and got fixed. They gave him the vaccines and then when we picked him up, we're on the way home and Kayla looked in the carrier they had him in and she goes, Mama, he doesn't look right. Something doesn't look right. I don't know if we ever took pictures. I think we did. Charlie's nose and his whole face was swollen. I question, was it the vaccine? So anytime we give him vaccines, we sit on pins and needles. You know, is he gonna be okay? Is he gonna have a reaction? And worst case, we'll give him some Benadryl or something when he gets done. She said, night, night. <laughs> Don't you guys love baby noises? They're so cute. Kayla got to the house this morning and Barry was still home. And he was like, oh, I get to see her. Cause you know, Barry works a lot. He just has long hours. He's always gone so early in the morning before Kayla comes over. And then Kayla leaves like two, three in the afternoon. So she always leaves so early in the afternoon. He doesn't get to see her then. And then the weekends have been so jam packed with like them being busy trying to get ready for their move. Now that you guys know, and with, you know, hockey and everything that it does make it really hard for Barry to ever get to see her. So she came over this morning really early and Barry got to see her and he was like so excited because he doesn't get to see her very much. She's gonna be grown by the time he sees her again, it feels like. I'm just thankful I get my snuggle time when I do get my snuggle time, cause gosh, it's gotten to be where I see her like every single day and then I legit miss her on the weekends. It's crazy. Who thought being a grandmother would be like so rewarding? Like, oh gosh, I'm not gonna cry. I don't know how to explain it. I don't know how to explain how it feels for your baby to have a baby. And I don't even know why I'm getting emotional. It's just, you know, it's so awesome. And I didn't think it would be like this. Like, I don't know what I was expecting. I don't know, I was kind of just expecting like, she's having a baby, you know? Like, we used to run daycare and watch babies all the time, me and Kayla, and I guess I was thinking it was gonna be just like that, you know? It's gonna be a new baby, but like, it's amazing how much of a spot they hold in your heart to know that your baby had a baby. Do you know what I mean? And like, it's your grandbaby. Oh, I don't know how to explain it. Aiden's always like, as soon as we get, like Kayla gets there, it feels like she's leaving because our days are so busy with school and you know, Kayla's nursing all the time. So our days are just super jam packed as it is. Aiden's always saying, you know, 
she just got here. You're leaving? And even though she's been there all day, just the time flies, the days fly. Oh, there comes Kayla. Okay, there she comes. Okay, so how'd it go? I guess it went good. I just sat in the way. <laughs> they came took them in. Oh, you didn't go in the room? No, because oh. we didn't do it in like exam. They just took them. Okay. But I got his tag, tag, and God, it's big. They have to I wear know. that. It's a big belt. Charlotte could never wear that. It's like this big. It's like yeah. a big boy tag. <laughs> his rabies just had ran out, so he was like, "We need to be done anyways." Yeah, it had to be done. Happen. Boo boo. Look in the camera. Mama, her weep. Her does weep. We're such a baby. I love her. She is a baby. All right, what am I doing? Making a breakfast quesadilla. Oh, I like mine. Grab that real quick. Do I like them scrambled? What, your eggs? Yeah. Yeah? Ooh, egg and cheese. I'm now thinking about that. That'd be good. How you make a breakfast quesadilla is you're gonna need your mild cheese. Then you're gonna need your tortilla. Put it on there. And... You don't like a lot. So no, is that too much or you want more? I'm a little bit more. Okay. See, I don't like a bunch of cheese because cheese just to me is not my favorite. What? Well, I love cheese, I but like I don't cheese. like a lot of cheese. It's not a good cook. That's my problem. The only thing I know how to make is sadly and unfortunately eggs. <laughs> Getting ready to start working on school. What are you doing on my phone? Looking at my order. It arrived oh. at the local facility. She got one piece of her Shein order, and one piece out of all of them, and we think maybe the rest is coming in one package. Yeah, the maybe rest is coming in it one is. Package. I looked, and there's two different um, orders. Okay. Or packages because one came from one, and the rest of it came from the other because that one piece was not the facility the rest of it came from. Did it say when they'll be here? Like, did it say the arrival? No, but it says it um it's in trans it was it says it, it said it was in transit yesterday that's it and then it said it arrived at the local facility. Okay. So I'm guessing the local facility here. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. I'm hoping so. Okay. Well, that maybe it'll come today. She's gonna do a a try on haul or show it on haul. Try on haul. Something for her channel. So it's gonna be a spring break try on haul. Spring break. Oh spring yeah. Break. I don't have spring break, but everybody else does. That'd be cool. So, I know we <laughs> don't take spring break. We're just trying spring, to get done with school. I'm gonna do a spring break haul for everyone else. <laughs> Sounds good. All right, well, as soon as your quesadilla is done, we're heading in there to school. Okay. We are off to get nails done. Mm -hmm. Well, not me, just you. Yep. Do you have any idea what you're getting? I have like an idea, but I don't know which one. Okay. Did your nail finally fall off? No. Look at that nail. See it raising up? I swear. Okay, let's go or we're gonna be late. <laughs> Back in the car. It's a windy one today. It's like real windy. Yes. But um, she got her nails done. Would you like to show them? She went very simple and just did a French. French nails, very pretty though, I like them. Mm -hmm. And we were just talking about next time she knows what she wants to do. She wants to get like all these colors. And I think the next time I do mine, I kind of want to do like a bunch of different colors just for like springtime. I did that like last year and it was really cute for Easter. But I won't even have them on prop. Well, I don't know, Mike. I stretch my nails, you guys. I will not get my nails done but like once a month. I'm not even kidding. If they're not falling off, we just wait as long as we can. Um, but mine were falling off. Hers were, and that one, her nail broke. Yeah, it started bleeding. Yeah, he had to like glue it back together. Yeah, that was rough. Hurt. Really bad. And then he tried. He tried filing the nail down, mm -mm. and I said, mm. and "I said you can't do that." <laughs> and it's still like, hurting. No, not it's anymore. It's better. Okay. Yeah, but he tried filing like the actual nail because he needed to file it down or whatever. And so I was like, mm, I said, that hurts really bad. And he's like, it's fine. He's like, I'll just clip it. So he just clipped my nail down as good yeah. as he could. And then he just kept Did going. he do the color underneath it like mine? Yeah. It looks good. I like it. They look really pretty. They're pretty. I'm excited for next time too. All right. We're going to head home. I think Caleb might be off work. Of course, Caleb stayed home with Aiden for me. I was appreciative of that. He didn't want to go as always. I said, that's fine. You don't have to go. But I need something to eat. I'm hungry. I know. We're going home. You want to do another salad? It sure. was good yesterday, but I think I want to make would. a bigger one. Yeah, we're going to need more lettuce. Well, that was my plan, is to kind of just go as we need and buy. Mm -hmm. So, I may have to go tonight and get more lettuce or something. But We might need more lettuce for today. 
Oh, we don't have enough for salads today? We might have one enough for you. Really? It was half a container. Let's go home and check. We might have some. I, I think know. we're good, but let's I'm go home and check. Like a big salad. I don't know. Why well, don't I have to make a big one? I can munch on a small one. Because before long, it'll be time to cook dinner anyway. Yeah. What'd you ask? Do you mind? Yeah. We are um, boiling eggs again mm -hmm. because we want more salad. Did you check the lettuce? Guess what I found out. What? I found out that you can get Am I supposed to keep walking? coffee for two dollars. Why are you chasing me? I don't know. You're walking away Mama, from me. I thought you were going to the pantry. Did you know that you could get a knee hockey goal for nineteen dollars? Mine's only two. Mine's only nineteen. Mine's only two. I'm, I'm gonna pay for it with my own money. Are you paying with for yours with your own money? See, she's covering Did you my check to see if account. they have to make a purchase? I can't. I gotta sign in. I'm gonna sign in yet. Well, let's sign in and see because I'm pretty sure there's a catch. First kids, I'll get me a dollar donut. No. It pops up on the TV all the time. Get a dollar donut. I'll get me a dollar Don't donut. you think there's a catch? Three dollars. I don't know. Say yes in the party no. See? Really? I don't know. I'm telling you, man. She's a ripoff. She isn't even gonna pay for it with her own money. Look, Dude. I paid for her Stop. whole Shein car and that was expensive. But you have a coffee man. Proud of you. It's still not here yet. Yes. It will be. Why does she need a Dunkin' coffee if she can make a Dunkin' coffee here? With I the know, coffee? and I need to buy the coffee station because, um, yeah. And I that need needs to be buy purchased now. Yeah, but it's like. Mm -hmm. Aiden. It's just, like, we're eating it is, it's more convenient. I'm eating like lunch or something. I'm like, mm, coffee be good. And then, you know, it's easier to go get it than come home and have to make a whole thing when we're like busy on weekends. And half the time, you gotta admit, I only drink Starbucks. I mean, Starbucks. Oh, on the weekend. All right, well, I'm going to go upstairs and finish making my bed okay. and put my new bedding on. And, um, yeah, I'll be back. Okay? okay? You Thank you. No, baby, well, it's only 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Well, that'd be good for a snack. What do you think? Um, mm, you just have to go searching around the house. We got stuff. You, I don't know what you're craving. We have to run into the baby. I uh, know we should make those tonight. <gasps> Let's make brownies tonight. We have enough for the brownies. Yeah, we're gonna okay. need more than like, like, we, I don't know what I want. We've been eating boiled eggs like on the daily. No, we have. Salads and stuff, so we're just gonna need more after we make brownies. But that'd be good, wouldn't it? That'd be very oh. good. I agree. What'd you find? What'd you get excited about? Grapes. The new bedding is on and I love it so, so much. I was worried about like the quality, but wow, you guys, it's really soft and I don't know, it's real thick and pretty and oh, I'm so in love with it. And we did go with the darker sheets. That's gonna take me a little to get used to because she's not used to them, but you really can't see them, so it doesn't really matter. I decided not to fold back the sheet on top of the comforter, then it'll be more light and not as dark. So I love it. What do you guys think? All right, I need your opinion on something. I was just telling Briley, or I mentioned it to Briley, I think a couple days ago, and I'm like really confused on how I should do it and what I should do. So I want to go through and like clean up my YouTube. And what I mean by that is I wanna go through and like, I know I have different categories, but I have so many categories, do you know what I mean? That it's just kind of overwhelming. There's like vlogs, which most of our videos go to that because that's what we are, a vlog channel. It's like vlogs and then cheer and then hockey and Kayla and Christmas and every single thing. I feel like I have like 20 lists. <sighs> I want to like clean it up and like make it look more organized instead of having all those random playlists. So I'm thinking like, what do you think is the best way to do that? I'm thinking maybe I should put them by months that we filmed with the year, like the month of the year. So like December, 2022 will be pretty much vlogmas, all of our Christmas videos. It just, to me, it just looks messy right now and I really want to organize it. Boy, I'm sitting here talking about organizing my YouTube stuff. When I'm still trying to organize my house, what's going on? I think I'm definitely in the spring cleaning mode because I have wanted to organize and redo, redo stuff so, so much lately. And I'm not feeling overwhelmed. Every day I just take one little project at a time. I did put my bins up in my closet and they look really good, but I want three more. 
I do. Um, and not for dad's side, just three more for my side, or at least two more. And then I can maybe move the extra one to his side and get him three to go over there and he'll have four. Because the way I turned them, I can actually fit a ton on that shelf. And I still have stuff on that shelf I want to put in a bin, so I definitely need at least a couple more. So I do want to order those eventually, probably not right now. Um, just trying to be mindful we still have house projects to do other than just organizing stuff. Our exhaust fan messed up in our bathroom. Did I tell you about that? So we had like a very, very terrible storm come through, but it was like freezing rain, cold, and during that time, I don't know what went down, but in our bathroom upstairs, the water started coming out of the ceiling fan, like the exhaust fan. And I was like, uh, that's not right. So the water was dripping from around it, not necessarily in it, we thought. And it was a good amount of water, but it was more like condensation is what I should, probably should call it, had built up and then started leaking. So it messed up the ceiling. And our exhaust fan, when it once it dried out, we gave it a few weeks, it dried out and we turned it on. It's making kind of like a weird noise. So part of me's like, mm -mm, we just need to get a whole new exhaust fan. So we now have to purchase one of those as well, but I might go ahead and purchase two and replace the one in Briley's bathroom. Why not? I want to get the heating and air people to come over and like installate around each one of the exhaust fans upstairs before replacing the exhaust fans. And I don't know, heating and cooling's kind of backed up right now. Barry said he tried to get in touch with them probably about a week ago and could he had no luck getting in touch with them. So he's gonna try them again this week and see if we can't get in touch with somebody to come out here to fix that. Because I'd like everything upstairs, vents, because we have vents in the ceiling, everything upstairs just insulated better. So maybe that doesn't happen again. And then once that's done, I'm gonna replace the exhaust fans. Man, I'm getting off subject here. But just little projects need to be done. So I'm trying to be mindful of all the other stuff I'm buying that's making me happy, like new bedding and organizers and things like that. And I'm like, you know, you need to buy exhaust fans and you know, other stuff that's really more important than bedding, but I'm gonna try to wait. So I'm probably gonna buy more organizers next month. I'm gonna go around and just continue my little straightening. But yeah, organizing YouTube, that's what this was about. Not about my exhaust fans. I do that a lot. I want to organize our YouTube channel by categories better than what I have up there. So part of me is thinking of going through and start organizing them by months and year. And I think that would look really nice. And then if, you know, I need to look up a certain something, I just have to remember what month it's in. That'd probably be the most aggravating thing. But anyway, what's your thoughts? If I organize it, don't you think the months and the years are probably the neatest more uniform look to organize the playlist that we have? I don't know, let me know your thoughts. Briley loves me so much. You made that so pretty. Yeah. You did good. Mm -hmm. She boiled an egg, she cut up the vegetables. Wait, you wanna see? Yeah. Isn't that pretty? Oh, wow. It's all cute and neat and organized and like oh, more organization. You even organized my salad. Looks like it came from a fancy restaurant. Right, it is. Briley's Kitchen. Yep. I like it. Thanks, Briley. You're welcome. Ah, wait! <laughs> you can't hold it. Yes, I can.